Hey everyone, I'm Lex, and we're going to be talking about uh, how to do a fascia iliaca block today. So I just wanted to quickly go over the setup here on the table. Uh, so first things first, uh, you want to basically have um, equipment to set up for a sterile feel. So you want some sterile gloves, sterile pro uh, probe cover, chlorhexidine obviously, and if you don't have the sterile probe cover, you can also use a tegator. Um, the other part that you want, step two, is you want to have some bupivacaine, ideally 0.25%. If you only have 0.5%, you can dilute it with uh, some normal saline. Um, you want to have, um, ideally, you know, a small syringe or like an insulin syringe so that you can uh, anesthetize the skin. And then you want to have a 30cc syringe um, to actually administer the bupivacaine through. Um, and then the third component is you want to actually have either, you can have one of two options. You can either have um, a special uh, dedicated ultrasound guided uh, nerve block catheter, um, or you could use a 22 gauge spinal needle and also use the extension tubing uh, through which you can actually administer the, the bupivacaine. So this is basically the, the setup and let's get to it. Here's a quick checklist of things you need before you get started. Now let's take a quick look at the anatomy, noting that the needle insertion point and injection site are lateral to the neurovascular bundle. Here's how the anatomy of the left groin appears on ultrasound. Your starting point is going to be just beneath and parallel to the inguinal ligament, somewhere between the medial and middle thirds. Here you see us moving out laterally from the neurovascular bundle, identifying both the sartorius and iliacus muscles and the fascia iliaca separating them. Note that you can rotate the probe clockwise or counterclockwise to better visualize the fascia iliaca. Using the in-plane technique, hold the ultrasound probe with your non-dominant hand and the needle with the dominant hand bevel up. Ideally, this is a two-person job and you will have an assistant who can hold the syringe so that you can stabilize your location through the fascia iliaca once you pop through the layer. Now we'll demonstrate a block being performed on the right groin. So the first thing you want to do is identify your femoral artery and femoral vein, and then you want to start to move out laterally until you identify the sartorius and the iliacus muscles. Identify the fascia iliaca. And then with your needle, slowly approach the fascia iliaca. And once you think you've popped right underneath the layer, between the fascia iliaca and the iliacus muscle. Inject a 0.5 to 1 cc test dose just to make sure that you're in the right area. And once you see that separation of layers, continue to inject the remaining 20 to 30 cc's of your bupivacaine. 